on the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month, we remember them. We gather at the war memorials throughout the United Kingdom. We remember those who have made the ultimate sacrifice and given their lives. To many, the names inscribed on the various memorials are merely names. They have no face. They have no identity other than those who may be remembered by close family and friends. It is appropriate that we give identities to those named on the memorials. Insofar as our ancestors in the 1920s and 1930s recorded the names of those lost in the Great War of World War I and later in the War of World War II, that we should recognize and remember them. In proud and grateful memory of the men of Rumney who gave their lives for us in the Great Wars, 1914 to 1919 and 1939 to 1945. Greater love hath no man than this that a man lay down his life for his friends. St. John chapter 15 verse 13. This memorial in Romney, like many of the memorials throughout Wales and the rest of the United Kingdom, recognize those who gave their lives in both world wars to help to protect their family, their friends and their country from the aggression of a foreign power. It is right that we remember them. There are 64 names on the area recording the casualties of World War II on the Romney Memorial. I have completed the profiles of those that I am able to confirm for the west, south and east side of the listings. However, there are some challenges with some of the names listed. There are questions of identity for V. Hill, C. Jones, A. Jones, B. Jones, D. E. Jones, A. Howells, D. R. Jones, W. Lewis, D. L. Morgan, J. O'Brien, D. G. Williams, E. Williams, H. Williams, and C. John. I've included these individuals in the fourth video with as much detail as I could provide. On the Romney Memorial for World War II, there are a number of names that are not directly identified with Romney families. Those are Davis H. Hill V. Jones A. Jones B. The second Jones B. Jones D. E. Lewis W. Morgan D. L. O'Brien J. Williams D. G. Williams E. And John G. Where possible, I have attributed identities to the recorded names through families located in Bristol, New Tredega, Tredega, or Romney. Regrettably, there may be some errors, and those names may still be unidentified correctly.
Davis, Howard Douglas, Lance Bombardier, 2672 Jones Albert Victor Morgan Flying Officer 149560 Sergeant four zero eight one four zero six Jones, Brynmore, Ordinary Seaman, 227781.
Lewis William Thomas Fuselier four one eight nine five four nine. Morgan, Daniel, Hayden, Lewis, Bombardier, one four five 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 three one. O'Brien, Jeremiah, Sergeant, 1801508. Williams, David, Gethin, Private, seven three six five one two nine. Williams, Edgar, Private, 3912752.
John Glenn Sergeant 131614 John George Recorded Joints Engine Room Artificer Royal Navy January 1st 1915 Died at sea. <laughs> Finding out the identities of those on the World War II Memorial as required comparing the 1939 and 1945 electoral rolls for Gwent based on Ebervale and therefore the surrounding constituency that includes Rumney and the local area. Also the use of the 1939 war registration uh, not exactly a census, but the completion of the information of those available for national service and other duties. I have left the identity of W.G. Bailey until last in this presentation due to somewhat of a conundrum. Firstly, I was unable to identify a specific war record for the individual. I believe the initials stand for William George and quite possibly the individual was born in Neutradiga and lived in the Ronza at Blind Ronza for part of his life. The parents William and Elizabeth Bailey cite on early censuses the name of George. However, had baptisms in St. George's Tredegar and also in the parish church of Astrud Vorduk. At some time in the near future, it is quite possible that a specific war record is identified with this individual and that information may be uh, responded to in a future video. I have included some names identified of individuals who were lost after World War I. Additionally, I have included the Commonwealth War Graves certificates for individuals who have names similar to those recorded on the monument who could not directly be identified as of Rumney or of the surrounding locale. These are identified as Hill Sergeant Vernon Ernest Jones Sergeant Aaron Jones Driver Albert Jones Able Seaman Alfred Jones Fusilier Alfred Jones Private Alfred Jones Sergeant Alfred Jones Alroy AM2 Jones Arthur Private Jones Arthur Sergeant Jones Arthur Staff Sergeant Jones Thomas Abel Morgan Llewellyn David Private Each of these individuals may be associated with Rumney however due to the ages and the lack of family links via the Commonwealth War Graves Certificates Commission they are included to recognize that many brave soldiers lost their lives in World War II.
The Commonwealth War Graves Commission has the responsibility for over 23,000 locations in more than 150 countries and territories where they maintain the graves in the individual cemeteries. Their motto, Caring for the Fallen. The Commission do a tremendous job maintaining the war records of 1.7 million Commonwealth men and women for whom they maintain graves and memorials. Their website provides in-depth detail of the commemorated rank, full name, service number, regiment, the date died, sometimes the age of death and the location of the grave or the memorial site. A Commonwealth War Graves Certificate states commemorated in perpetuity by the Commonwealth War Graves Commission. These certificates often show a photograph of the specific memorial or cemetery site. As part of the concept of Romney Virtual Tours, I have utilized Google Earth to capture images around the cemeteries located in France and Belgium and in other countries of the world where the individual regiments and soldiers are commemorated. It will be seen on the certificates of the Commonwealth War Graves Commission that identify the individual cemeteries. In some cases, individuals are buried in local cemeteries. Rumney's St. David's Parish Church have several graves, has does the Rumney Cemetery itself. There were also individuals buried at the Greig Cemetery who are now recorded on the Cardiff Wall of Memorial. The name of the deceased soldiers' nearest relatives are often recorded on the Commonwealth War Graves Certificates. In Flanders fields the poppies blow Between the crosses row on row That mark our place And in the sky the larks Still bravely singing fly Scarce heard amid the guns below We are the dead Short days ago we lived Felt dawn, saw sunset glow, loved and were loved, and now we lie in Flanders fields. Take up our quarrel with the foe, to you from failing hands we throw the torch, be yours to hold it high, if ye break faith with us who die, we shall not sleep, though poppies grow in Flanders fields. McCray, John, Lieutenant Colonel, MD. In view of the confusion in trying to locate various named individuals who have common names like Davis, Evans and Jones and a few others. 
I have in fact included some extracts of other individuals who will be recorded hopefully on other memorials in their own communities. I've also recorded several names of individuals who in fact died after the war who may or may not be recorded on the Romney Memorial and also the names of some individuals who lived into late and ripe old age even though they suffered and fought for the people of Romney and their relatives. It is easy to forget the burden carried by those who survived and by those families who lost husbands, fathers, sons and daughters in both great conflicts. We give our praise and we extend our immemorial sympathies and empathy for the losses endured on the deaths of these brave soldiers who should be remembered fully. Museum records the location of the Rumney Memorial at the center of village at the junction of Victoria Road and High Street, Victoria Road, Rumney, Rumney Valley, Mid Glamorgan, NP225LL, Wales. A two step base mounted by a tapering plinth shaft and Celtic cross. On the north facing face, the six o'clock face, with the commemorative inscription, are also the words on the cross of Moon Hangoff Nihant Ford. They shall not be forgotten. The Rumney Memorial includes an inscription that says designed by Edward A. Gilbert of Rumney. 1883-1936. Edward Gilbert was a postman in Romney and the father of Norman Gilbert, the school teacher at the Lawn School. His brother Graham both are remembered in the documentary on Romney created by Jack Howells introduced by Carl Francis, attributed to the commission from Alan Vaughan and made in 1972. Return to Romney. From the archives of Harlech TV, HTV. When you go home, tell them about us and say for your tomorrow we gave our today. <laughs>